Hi everyone, it's Carlita from Central Coast Council. How are you feeling today? And what's the weather doing? Is it sunny or windy or is it rainy today? We've had a lot of strange weather lately, haven't we? Sometimes it can be really sunny and then other times it's storming outside and the waves down at the beach are really big. Do you like storms? I don't mind storms, but sometimes the noises are a little bit scary. My friend's dog gets a little bit scared and she crawls under the couch and stays nice and cosy until the storm stops. And the storms don't last too long, do they? What about when it rains? You know what I like to do after it rains? I like to walk outside and put my gumboots on and splash in puddles. Splash, splash, splash. What about when it rains a lot? Sometimes it rains so much that the rivers in the creeks fill up really quickly and a lot of water ends up flowing onto the land. This is called a flood. Have you ever had a flood? Have you ever had maybe lots of water come into your house? What happened and how did you feel? Maybe you felt a little bit scared, but it's always nice to know that during a flood, there are people there to help you. I have some friends who also had a flood in their home. Maybe you'd like to meet them. Their names are Mr. Frog and Birdie. Shall we wish them here? That sounds good. Okay, we'll count to three and wish for Mr. Frog and Birdie. One, two, three. I wish for Mr. Frog and Birdie. Oh, Birdie and Mr. Frog, it's so good to see you. I've just been talking to the kids at home about how you had a flood at your home. How did you feel? Oh, Birdie and Mr. Frog said they felt a little bit scared and a bit sad. I'd feel scared too. I have a special book that we could read about the flood at your home. Maybe we could read it to the kids and we'll find out what happens. Okay. Birdie and the Flood by Andrea Murray and Anil Tortop. This is Birdie. Birdie is a happy bird who likes to sing. She lives in a nest in a tall tree. Birdie feels cosy and safe in her nest. Birdie likes to catch worms and talk with her friend, Mr. Frog. Mr. Frog lives in a pond with green lily pads. Ribbit, ribbit. One day when Birdie was looking for worms, she spotted some dark clouds in the sky. Ping, ping, ping. Some drops of rain fell out of the sky and landed on her head. Birdie flew back up to her dry nest. The rain got harder and harder. Ping, 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 splat, splat, splat. The water was making big puddles on the ground. Splash, 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 it went into the pond. There was a loud thunder, clap, and lots of lightning. Birdie didn't like the loud noises and all the water. It was scary. The rain did not stop. Ping, 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 it went on her head. Splash, 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 it went into the pond. Birdie got wetter and wetter and colder and colder. <clears throat> Soon her feathers and nest were soggy and yucky. Birdie was not happy. She didn't feel safe. She was afraid. The water came up and up. The pond got fuller and fuller. Soon the water covered the ground. Then it covered the road. It even covered the cars and went into the houses. When her nest started to break, Birdie flew to a safe place. When the rain stopped, Birdie flew back to her tree. Oh no, her tree was broken. Her nest was gone. There was water and mud everywhere. Birdie had lost all of her feathers in the storm and she had lost her home. She was very sad. She started to cry. 
Mr. Frog was sad and worried too. His beautiful pond was dirty and full of mud and rubbish. All the lily pads were gone. What were they going to do? Oh dear, I wonder what happens. Lots of helpers came. Birdie did not like the sound of the helicopters that came to help. Chop, chop, chop went the blades as they spun round and round, making a big wishing wind. Woo went the engines. Birdie was frightened and covered her ears with her wings. Mr. Frog went under the water with a splash. The helpers brought buckets and shovels and saws to clean and fix. Zzz went the saws. Swish, swish went the brooms. Some helpers brought sticks to build Birdie a new nest. Some of Birdie's friends brought feathers to make a new coat. Soon everything was clean. All the rubbish was gone. Birdie had a bright new coat with lots of colours. She had a warm nest. She and Mr Frog were safe and happy again. Oh, Birdie and Mr Frog, that must have been really scary when the flood came through to your home. But it is so nice to know that there were lots of helpers there. And a lot of helpers that helped you rebuild your nest using lots of new sticks as well. And the pond wasn't muddy anymore, was it, Mr. Frog? It was really clean and you both felt safe. How do you feel now? I think they're happy and safe to be back in their home. Thank you for joining us today. And thank you, Birdie and Mr. Frog. It's good to see you and it's good to see you safe and happy again. See you soon. Bye.